everybody and welcome back to my channel black imperial travel we are here again <laughs> yes i am still in the states uh, today is wednesday september 21st and it is 1 51 p.m here so if you don't know you're about to know that tomorrow is my birthday I'll be 27. Naturally, I'm excited for that. I'm usually out of the country for my birthday, but since I've been in the States, um, home visiting family for the month of September, I didn't want to stay in Charlotte for my birthday. No shade to Charlotte, but it's just my hometown. There's just more to see, more to do. So I'm going to meet a couple of my friends, and we're going to be in D.C. for my birthday weekend. So I arrive in D.C. tonight. I arrive at like 6 p.m. and I'll be in D.C. until Monday. So it'll be a nice birthday weekend. My flight leaves Charlotte Douglas. You already know the usual airport. My flight leaves Charlotte at 4.40. 4.40 p.m. So I'm waiting for the lift now to take me to the airport. Um, this vlog is going to be similar to the Houston vlog. Whereas because I'm visiting like, you know, friends that I know and that's who I'm staying with. Naturally, there's not going to be like a room tour where i'm staying tour kind of thing for dc but you all will be filled in on almost everything else <laughs> because some stuff is just for the b-day girl period so i'm excited um this lift comes in five minutes um but about to head to the airport so see you soon So hopefully you can hear me because it's crowded. The airport is really crowded today, but it's 2.28 p.m. So it's almost 2.30. Pre-check, obviously I was in and out in like five minutes. I'm trying to go to the Club Charlotte, which is kind of like back there. It's like the little club lounge thing, but they have a 30 minute wait. So hopefully I'll get in by three o'clock so I can enjoy it for an hour. Until then, I'm here at a bar and I'm probably going to get a drink because my birthday's tomorrow. <laughs> but that's what's going on right now. This was my second time at the Club Charlotte, but the first time I went, it was nowhere near. Like, look at this line to get in. I thought it was crazy, but honestly, the drinks were okay. They didn't have the ingredients to make an old fashioned, so I forgot what she made me, but it tasted really strong, but it was all right. Okay, I'm here. It is 4.32, have boarded the plane. So I'll see y'all in like an hour. Hopefully you can hear me. It's 5.52 p.m. We just landed here in DC. I didn't even get a good nap. <laughs> That flight was so short. I'm like here now, so once I get situated, I'll see you all in a bit. It's 6.10 p.m. I'm here at baggage claim now. You know I'm carry-on only, but they made me check my bag at the gate. So I'm waiting for my rolling carry-on bag to come out, and then I'll be ready to go. Once we touched down, everybody was like, I'm hungry. So we went to Mezcalero. I haven't had Mexican food since I've been in the States. Mexican food in Spain is not good, okay? No flavor. So I was happy to have some in the States. We got some sangria to start, but the sangria was mid. Sangria <laughs> is better in Spain. We started off with the appetizer of the crab stuffed oyster. So you can see the crab meat, the oyster, the pepper on top. We got two orders so everybody could have three, but I could have eaten all 12 by myself. They were that good. Put a little lime juice on it, you know, even though that lime was hard to squeeze, but y'all, bomb. <laughs> Hot, but bomb. And then I got like, it was basically a chimichanga, but not like covered in cheese on the outside. The cheese was on the inside, but y'all see how big and succulent that shrimp is. I ate that entire wrap. It was so good. And to end the night, we got some ice cream. I got a vegan flavor. It was like vegan sweet potato pie. So we ate a lot and enjoyed. 
hello <laughs> and good morning from DC hopefully you can hear me because I hear like trucks and construction out here um, but it is a Friday September 22nd so it is my birthday yay it is 9 31 a.m. so a little after 9 30 if you're wondering why I look like this it's because we are starting off the day with a hot yoga class so that's the first thing we're gonna do today it's a little colder here in DC than I had anticipated I don't know if it's because it's 9 30 but that's good to know that I'll probably need a jacket tonight <laughs> so we're gonna do hot yoga and then maybe lunch and I don't really know the full plan of the day but I know we're doing hot yoga and I know we're having sushi tonight at Oku so that's all I know for right now but yeah that's what we're getting into birthday day <laughs> Finished hot yoga. It was good. Much needed. Yeah. And the glow. No. Honey, you can't deny the glow. No. <laughs> After. Honey, it's skincare. No, no it, it is. No, it's <laughs> real. <laughs> so, I enjoyed it. My first hot yoga class, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a workout. Yeah. But I enjoyed it. So, yeah. Okay, we are on our way to a Laotian. I hope I'm pronouncing that right restaurant <laughs> but you know the country Laos I feel like it's Laotian if I'm not pronouncing that right let me know but that's where we're heading for early lunch Aisha said this was Laosha food, but then we pulled up, we was like, wait, this is Indian food. So we're getting Indian food. I ordered lamb curry. Um, this is also their mango lassi. And then um, two sauces. So the bottom is mango chutney and the top is like a spicy cilantro. So yeah, it was about $30 for everything. So hopefully the portions are big. <laughs> Trying the mango lassi. Good, creamy, mango. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the lamb curry, the, just the lamb. I'm gonna pour it over the rice and everything, don't worry. Mm. Very good, very tender. Definitely got a kick in there. Rice, chickpeas, cilantro, curry sauce. Hmm. Yep, this is good. I will see y'all later. <laughs> okay, hey y'all. <laughs> I'm back. It's literally 4 1 p.m. here in DC. Um, you didn't, I promise, like you didn't miss anything. So we went to the Indian restaurant for lunch, as you saw, Indigo. But what was funny is like why I was confused as to whether like we were eating Laotian food or not is because the Lao Street Food restaurant was literally right after the Indian food restaurant but we saw and smelled the menu for the Indian food so we stopped there so that's why I got confused but we ate lunch at the Indian restaurant now clearly the birthday girl is ready and we're going to go to I don't even remember the name some place for happy hour and then Oku for sushi tonight so our reservations for happy hour are five at five so we're about to head out so yeah I'll try my best to record but I'm having a good time but yeah I'll try my best see you soon Hopefully you can hear me, but it's 4.57 here for happy hour now. Our first official stop for the birthday extravaganza was to Code Red, which is a speakeasy. So make sure you make a reservation because when you knock on the door, you have to give them the passcode and then they let you in. So this was the atmosphere. You can see everything was very much themed to the name and to the era very nice extensive bar they had a good 
happy hour menu. Their cocktails were $7 each. I basically got a gin lemon drop. So I enjoyed our drinks very much. And I don't think I recorded it, but we also got free shots for my birthday. So that was fun. They also had specials on their happy hour appetizer. So I got a shrimp cocktail. You see the shrimp were good size. And I like how they set it up literally like a cocktail. And the shrimp was fresh and good. We also got the Wagyu sliders. This wasn't on the happy hour menu, but Johnny said they were really good. And he didn't lie. Must get. Okay, it's 6.23 p.m. We finished at the Red Door. Code Red. Red. Code Red. <laughs> We finish at Code Red, the little speakeasy situation. So now we're going to head to the side of town where we are having the sushi restaurant, Oku. And our reservations are at 715, so that's what's going on. See you at Oku. I love sushi. I am very passionate about sushi. So when I found out there was an Oku in DC, I was like, yeah, mine made up, that's where I want to go for my birthday because there's also a location in Charlotte, but I will note that the menus do have some differences between them. So, you know, if you go to one, that doesn't mean that you've tried everything at the other, basically. But they had us climbing. They had us climbing <laughs> for our lives to get to our seats here at Oku, but I just want to say that our server was really nice. She was amazing. Like her, she really made the experience because here we are, we got drinks, but as you see, she asked, did we want lemon, lime, or cucumber in our water? Like, where do they do that? I got cucumber and lime. <laughs> So that was something I liked. This was one of their fall special drinks. It literally tasted like a sip of fall. If I'm going out for sushi, I'm always getting salmon sashimi. Yes, I always dip it in the soy sauce. That's how I like it. Um, we also got their mussel special appetizer to share and some edamame as well. And the roll I got was deep fried and it had, I think, salmon or spicy tuna, crab, something. Honestly, I'm sorry. I don't remember everything that it had in it, but it was bomb. It was bomb. I know it didn't have avocado in it because I don't like avocado. And then they did light the candle and we had a little birthday treat. It was like a raspberry white chocolate cheesecake, which was delicious. And then we went to El Rey to get some margaritas to share in the picture and then we ended up at a gay club which was not recorded because i had a long island and after that honestly <laughs> it was kind of a blur after the long island but we had a good time i know that because we ended off the night with a slice of pizza i don't even like pizza like that y'all but this was good hey everybody good afternoon it is Saturday, September 23rd. It's almost 2.30 <laughs> p.m. Um, I promise y'all have not missed anything. Last night we did Oku for sushi. I hope, I hope all of that footage is good. If it's not, you know, I tried my best. But we did Oku for sushi and then after that we went to El Rey for a margarita pitcher and then we went to Nelly's which is like a gay club bar-ish type situation. Um, and on U Street, right? Yep. Yeah, we did that last night. And then we went to the pizza place also like across the street on U Street. So that's what we did last night. <laughs> Naturally, it's like mid-afternoon here, but that's because it is raining. It is raining very bad. It's supposed to rain all weekend. So all we're doing today is going to the mall and then we're gonna have like a charcuterie game night here. But like that's all we're doing today because it's been raining nonstop all day and it's colder here than I thought it was gonna be it's like 60 degrees but it's like cold <laughs> so that's what we have going on today not too much but yeah It's literally 3.30, it's misting a little bit, but we are here now at the mall. As you can see, 
it's raining but we are done at the mall it's 5 35 p.m all i bought was a t-shirt y'all didn't miss anything we are about to head back go to trader joe's and get everything we need for our wine charcuterie kind of night <laughs> Johnny in the back but we are done at Trader Joe's so we're I'm gonna try my best to record I know I didn't really record at Trader Joe's sorry because I honestly forgot because we was we was trying to get the grocery but we have it and we're about to put together our cootery night what did you do I didn't even see it what did you do that <laughs> even though I was slacking on the recording at Trader Joe's you can see we got plenty of provisions from the store so we opened the wine and we started putting the charcuterie together. I put my smoked salmon in the ramekin in the middle because I don't eat pork and everybody else did. But as you see, we had a spread. Like this was, this was barefoot Contessa worthy to me. It was a very good spread. I have pictures as well because y'all, we did that. So of course, wine from Trader Joe's, amazing. Smoked salmon, amazing. Everything was bomb. Hello and good afternoon, everybody. It is Sunday, September 24th. It is 12.51 p.m. We are here. We are ready about to head to brunch. We're going to El Piata. Piato? Il Piato? Because <laughs> um, it's $35 unlimited like mimosas, like included with your food or something like that. So that's what we're doing. Um, hopefully last night you got to get a little bit of the charcuterie game night, but we had fun. But um, today, I don't know what we're doing. Literally brunch after brunch, who knows? So it's my last full day in D.C. Um, I also wanted to point out, because I thought about it, if you were looking for like D.C. tourist stuff on this vlog, you're not going to get that because I'm just here like eating and um, drinking and hanging out with my friends. And also this is like my fourth time to DC. So like I have done the tour circuit. So if that's what you were looking for, sorry, this is, this is real DC. <laughs> this is what I have to give. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Like everything these days, I found out about this restaurant on TikTok. I wanted to do bottomless brunch because, you know, in Charlotte, they changed the law or whatever, so now you can't have bottomless brunch and it's lame, blah, 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 blah. So when I was in D.C., I knew the one thing I wanted to do was Sunday bottomless brunch. You could pick your flavor that you wanted, so we started off with kiwi. Those are just seeds in the bottom. <laughs> we have the kiwi mimosa. It's different. It's different. For my appetizer, I got arancini, which was my first time trying it. I really liked it. I think it was like risotto mixed with mushroom with the tomato cream sauce. Really, really good. And then for my entree, I got some type of frittata, which I also like. You know, I threw a little hot sauce on that thing. And then our pink mimosas, I'm pretty sure were like strawberry or raspberry flavored. And then for dessert, I got a panna cotta. And because it took so long for our desserts to come, we also got free lemon drops. So, you know, at this point, brunch had been brunching. <laughs> it's a little after five o'clock. I really don't even know what time it is. Probably like 5.02? 5.07. 5.07. But we're heading to the White House. I know I told you all earlier you wouldn't get a little tourist thing, but you're going to get just a little tourist thing, the White House. This is all I have for you is the White House. Y'all better get in the front. Mm -hmm. Everybody can hear y'all. Yes, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. God bless. Amen. Show Amen. <laughs> So you all did end up getting a little tourist, you know, bop. We have been re-watching Scandal while we were in D.C. So it was just fitting that we stopped by the White House to see, you know, Fitz's home. <laughs> so um, that's what we did and took some pictures. I hadn't been to the White House since, I don't know, I was like 20 or whatever. Like I said, I've been to D.C. multiple times. But then after this, me and Johnny hit up U Street and did some bar hopping. And 
that was all a blur naturally so after that i said you know i need that pizza one more time i need to stress to y'all i don't even really like pizza i ate pizza three times this whole trip hello <laughs> and good afternoon it is monday september 25th it is a little after one o'clock here in dc i am alive <laughs> i did make it through sunday fun day brunch etc <laughs> but looking back i don't know what footage i have recorded and what footage i don't so you know just know <laughs> I had a good time. Hey, baby. Meow. Meow. So, uh, my flight leaving DC is at 3.20, so I'm about to head out right now and head to the airport. Um, but that's basically it for today. Today's flight day, doing nothing. I'm, I'm tired and I don't want to see another drop of alcohol. So, <laughs> all I'm going to be doing at the airport is minding my business and relaxing until it's time to board my flight. As you know, it says the flight to Charlotte is like an hour and a half, but I really feel like it's like 45 minutes. So, but that's what we got going on today. I've had a great birthday weekend here in DC, but baby, I am tired. It's time to go. Oh, 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 oh. Just got dropped off at the airport now. It's 1.36 never been to this airport except obviously when i was flying in so i'm gonna find the tsa pre-check line and i'll see you all after security hopefully you can hear me but yeah it's 151 so officially through security here um i guess that was like 15 minutes i don't know a little longer than it normally was or is for me when I travel with TSA pre-check. So I guess there was just a lot of people here in DC with pre-check today. So my flight boards in an hour. So I'm just about to chill out and I'll see y'all when it's time to board. It's 3.02, so a little after three o'clock, officially boarded. They always say that this flight is like two hours to Charlotte. That is not true. So I should see y'all in an hour. Hopefully you can hear me, but we are back. It's 4.32 p.m. So yeah, quick flight, like I said. Okay, y'all, it is 5.35 p.m. I am back where I am supposed to be. I know this vlog was a little sporadic, a little crazy, but that's basically the birthday energy that I could give for D.C. So it was fun spending my 27th birthday in D.C. I hope y'all enjoyed watching at least what I could give you. And yeah, see you next time. <laughs>